hello people I'm aware it's very bright it's because it snowed and I want my window open anyway we're playing Danganronpa <laughs> please I'm so sorry I am so tired right now I woke up early but I want to play so yeah I'm so cold. Alright, who's gonna die this chapter? Who knows? Oh, okay. Mm. Oh! Who is that? No, I shouldn't cry. Oh. But I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting uh. out of here anytime soon? It's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to. Uh-oh. Is she gonna kill herself? Donuts. I need to get some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Oh. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut holes. What? Ma. Mala. Okay. Oh god of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. Am I her? <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. She is going to die. that sound she's gonna get shot up hmm. it sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse but I'm super scared but it is is someone there gasp <gasps> hello A next generation legend, stand tall galactic hero. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Where's Aoi? Everyone met up in the dining hall just like always, and I expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> Today kind of sucks, huh? Toko and somebody refused to show up. Daddy long legs. I love how I said somebody. And I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh. That is rather unusual for her. Normally she is so full of energy. Mm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then. So it's just the seven of us then. It looks that way. How about that? It's times like these where the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. Impossible. Or not. Taka hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. One look at his face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. It must be because of Mondo. Stop! That was so horrid! The two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro, and then having to watch Mondo, uh, Mondo get punished, and there was nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. I need to make sure I'm recording. Oh. So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if it helps ever gonna come. <laughs> now I'm all depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things, do our best to get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. That is the only hope we have now. Wait, what? To live here forever? Well, here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, our every need is seen to. Why are you dissatisfied? <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victi victimization, and violence? As society grows, so does its preser preservation. In which case, is our current situation not... <laughs> Demon angel pr pudgy princess! Huh? Here we go! Maggie's the drill shop owner, the buddy here at Amazon, cat girl, dog boy, Robo Justice, the Galactic King. 
And, and? What I mean is, there's no 2D here. There is nothing to be done. The mastermind put such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well, anyway, since talk is like catatonic, <sighs> as the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So, we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm right, right? Well, I mean, since the class trial is over and all, Perhaps. there should be new places for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well, then. then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> well, there may be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. Um... I don't know. The point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You me, so I appear. Genocide. What? Ah, nobody called for you! Uh, um... What the? How come it's Genocide Jill and not Toko? Yes! Ah, this place is just amazing! Finding a place I can just be my murderous self. Which is why I decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. Uh -huh. Plus, I have another battle to fight. The whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone. I gotta destroy that stereotype. Oh, I'll fight. I'll fight all day and all night to murder those total slanderous cliches. Um. But you are a killer with the split personality. <laughs> if she weren't here, my chances of survival would go up at least ten percent. Uh -huh. Come on, you gotta bang me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't let we can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right, let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> Thank you, Toko. So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer, and after our much needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. Yes, ma'am, we're gonna look around the school. So we're just gonna leave that murderer around. I wonder what opened up. Not that. Um. It wouldn't be, would it be upstairs and then upstairs again? Oh, hello. Could it be? Nothing's changed on this hmm. floor. The only difference is the gate blocking the stairs leading up to the third floor is gone. I guess that's where they want us to head next. I wonder what kind of crazy stuff is up there. I don't know. You know, it could be anything. Wrong way, I guess. Um, oh, hello. Hi. The third floor of Hope's Peak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? A rec room. Hello. Hmm, so this is... Let's see. A recreation room, a place for students to come and relax. I never would have imagined a school having a place like this. <laughs> Well, no, normal school would. It has a fellow shrogi, even a dartboard, and a pool table. And look at this. They even have provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! I'm not going to. Ring, ring, ring! Hello there! Allow me to expound! We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines. <laughs> Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. So then. And will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad. Sorry, no can do. Even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda. Kinda what? Watch out! Oops, nothing, never mind. No, no, no. Anyway, that's it for my expandation. Bye bye. What he just said? I know, right? It bothers me, too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be so much nicer if we could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. R really 
Really? I don't really want to look at this stuff. I really don't want to. Because it's just going to be like, oh, it's a side. Leave the area. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there she is. There's my favorite white girl. It would seem. So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a psychic's lab in an art room. Ooh. I also found a huge machine of some kind in the psychic's lab. I wonder what it does. F is it psychics? No, physics. Sorry guys, I screwed up really bad. Physics lab? Psychic. You know what, psychic sounds a lot more entertaining though. I'm sure uh, Weedhead would enjoy that. At first glance, it looks like any normal art room, but something about it seems off. Or multiple somethings. Ah, it looks so bad. No offense. <laughs> well, look at this equipment. It certainly scratches that artist's stitch of mine. Art supplies, of course, but they've also got all kinds of sculpting tools. So, Hifumi, do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I lend myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know about how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Char and Bo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Sarburo, Rompy, Gone makes. Char and Bo's ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite, as seen in his Mama Cat series. Pumpkinhead is like a little sculptor fairy, representing the century's greatest quality. S so, meanwhile, is known for his Mecham series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. But only of your Elite is missing. What? 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 Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Besides, that empty seat rightly belongs to me. <laughs> mm, it begins. Today begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next country. I see. Well, good luck with that. Uh, bye. Monokuma. Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like that? Still, the quality is surprising. Um. There are paintings lining the walls. Is it really just art? It just looks like a bunch of crappy graffiti to me. Hmm. What is that? This is a statue of Neo. I've never really heard of anyone using a Neo statue for light drawing classes or whatever. Yeah, bye, I'm done. Oh, what's back here? Uh-oh. Looks like a bunch of murder weapons to me. Stop, that looks so sad. This is the repository that's attached to the art room. It's used to store different artsy things. What is that? <gasps> There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture. But as I stretched out my hand to pick it up, almost as if it on my own, my hand froze. Huh? What I saw in that picture was Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo, and they were smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? How'd they get it developed? And in the picture, the window in the classroom, there's no metal plate covering it. Which must mean, whenever, wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak Academy. But there was no time to find an answer. Uh, oh no. That's mine! Give it back! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo at any chance. I had to get answers evaporated. You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that they were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped a page right out of the book of you. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? I'm not telling you nothing. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind. I don't even know why I bothered asking. There are wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they used them for making sculptures. A dolly. They must use it to move all these statues around. There is no doubt in my mind that this is the case, uh, this is the scene of a murder, uh, or a future murder, I'm guessing. Um. Is there another floor? Oh my god. Ew, why is it gray? Why is it gray? Uh. 
um, this is the physics lab. It's like a classroom and more like some kind of research institute. Hey Taka, don't you think this place is like some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. I feel so bad for him! Please! What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! What? 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 Do you want to do some quantum leaping? Huh? That's a time machine! Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope Peak. The ultimate... Uh... Psychic... Psychist? I don't know who that is, but they're definitely part of this behind the scenes. Although they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. Oh, maybe not. A time machine? Seriously? So it can go back in time? Okay, then. Let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can. This time I'll stop Mondo for sure. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza and bagels in the microwave one minute too long. One minute? Wah-wah? Hmm, you sound disappointed. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. What? Hey! Honestly, um, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier? In other words. It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you could even live on Mars. But with that dis discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably won't don't want to live on Mars. You got Anyways, this machine is the reason you guys all have this delicious air. Don't go messing with it. You break it and it's your butt. This huge thing is just an air purifier. And more than that, to go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. Dang you. Is he okay? Is he? No. Um, let me talk to him again. Hey, Taka. Uh, uh. We gotta look around more. What is this? <gasps> this is the equipment room. It's super disorganized, and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. Uh -huh. oh, this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of for formaldehyde, formaldehyde is almost unbearable. I'm seriously excited! So tempting! Uh -huh. I just want to dunk myself right in it. Of course, Genocide Jack likes it. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. You know what? I am not surprised. A nice long bath! Oh my gosh. She went for some formaldehyde? Formaldehyde? Is that what it is? What is this? There's a bunch of files here. Uh, put, uh, equipment. Dust. Dusty equipment. Dusty. What is this? What is that? It's, this is a trap. It's a trap. It's normal. Let's see. Oh, it's been 18 minutes. Hello. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to leave the room. No, I don't want to look around. Oh my gosh. Ignore that. Ah, I don't mean to do that. I need to turn on my game. Sorry, guys. If I'm screaming at you. What do I have to look at? I've already looked at everything. This? What is that? They must use these for experiments. I don't recognize it. Oh, I want to leave. Let me leave. I've already looked at that. Oh, it's a camera. Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anima... Anima... Anime style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yup, it still works. I should show the others later. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone. For now, I should head to the dining hall. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm so sleepy. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Ah! 
Pina. I tried to talk to her, but my voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining room. Pina. Huh? Huh, I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina. Oh, wrong voice. Looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I eat a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You do love those donuts. Mm. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well. Well, my stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so, you know. <laughs> uh, I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Mm. Miss I, I see Hina is pretty much the same, it looks like. Just a second. Hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. Anyways, I was worried about you. Sorry. Besides that, you? Huh? Jeez, your knockers are huge. What the heck? Did you convince them to double up on your milk production? Bastard! Stay away from here, you fiend! Uh, um... Anyway, first things first. We should talk about what we found, right, Taka? Right. Uh, there she is! There's my favorite white girl! Correct. There was a rather remarkable psychics. No! Physics! I keep messing up. Lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? Oh my god, I totally messed up the voices, but it's okay. Huh? What's something like that doing there? Hmm? Is that is the device really that big? Hmm. I really don't get it. Uh. Ah! Mm, yes, yes! The long road to maidenhood begins with a single step. The road may begin with only wrinkly old men, but it will end with strapping young, adorable boys. <sighs> what the are you talking about? <laughs> Is she okay? No. Hmm. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the halls and rooms were blocked off. <sighs> I wish they'd given this the rest already. For serious, give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> Just forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. <laughs> Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. So in the end. It would see escape. It would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. <sighs> there was an art room on the third floor and it had all kinds of gear. <laughs> Now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking Perhaps. around. A digital camera. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well then, let's see. What the heck? This thing is like a kid's toy. It looks like it can store like five pictures maybe. It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well, on top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. You know nothing! Rude! She's not strange! It's Pretty Princess Pickles! From Demon Angel Pretty Budgie Princess! Oh, you recognize this, if you mean? <laughs> of course I recognize it! It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Yeah. Wait! That's my camera! What? Damnation! Where? Where did you... In the psychic, no, physics lab. <laughs> it's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me. But I lost it on the first day along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However. Ah, oh, but look at it. What? It got all messed up. Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection or you buy a second hand shirt. <laughs> well, that's it. Huh, that's it. It's not mint condition. 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 I don't need it anymore. But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> and may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Hmm. Well, I can't really imagine that any of us are going to need it to take pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. Uh, okay, you? Oh, um, um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be? It didn't happen to be a donut-related discovery, did it? Hmm. What does that even mean? That's right. Never mind. It's about the nurse's office, remember? There's one on the first floor, right? Well, I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamin supplements would be fine. Hmm. 
I did, look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. That's disappointing. Aww. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. I'm not sure if it's that disappointing. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Daddy Longlegs a little while ago. <laughs> what? You so Where, where was he? What? What? You're kind of scaring me. <laughs> where was he? He was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no! So that's where he was hiding! I won't let him get away from me! <laughs> huh? She just ran off. Is, is she okay? <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. It's no use. Okay, I'll talk to everyone. What do you want from me? Bye. Bye. Uh, I already talked to all you hoes. Except you, I <laughs> There is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room up on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> will someone enjoy joining me in a game of Othello? Othello sometime? I don't know. Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say. So now it's my turn. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something I found that's kind of been bothering me? What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently, Monokuma took it. A weird picture? You mean, like, dirty? No, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon Mondo and Chihiro all together. Why? Those three? And the three of them were laughing. Oh. It um... showed the three of them together laughing? When could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then. Then the picture wasn't taken here. Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to the school. You probably just imagined it. Monokuma cast a spell on you. No, I saw it. I'm telling you. Hmm. But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here... How about that? I bet they're all still alive. They left the school and then took that picture. Is that right? That's impossible. After all... We saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko. And then there's... Sayaka. That wasn't an illusion. It was real, I'm sure of it. They all died, there's no way any of them are still alive. So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forge? Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right, but more importantly, <laughs> on another topic, there is something that's bothering me that I would like to discuss. <laughs> uh... What's bothering you? What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually... It's about Hina. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> You said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? <sighs> it varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It's called a tell. Something that you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose gets just a bit longer. Huh? What, for real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh. That's no fair. <laughs> <laughs> if you were going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? That's it. Are you I'm feeling sure guilty about something? Just a second. No, that's not it at all. But... It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? Sorry. To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it, cause even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. The truth? Well... I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. A ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But I mean, ghosts are... What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but... Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. So, can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, 
So, oh no. Then, okay, I'll tell you. So, um. Uh, it happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up until now. I ended up just getting more upset. So I tried to cheer and up. Cheer myself up. I thought I'd go huh? get some donuts. Donuts again. Honestly. And you ignored the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know. Sorry. I feel really bad about that. Nina. Anyway, please continue. But. Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. Well. It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. And I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There was no doubt who it was. It was Shihiro. Say what? Oh, no way! No. A ghost! Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must have been mistaken. Just in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. Well, then. Then all we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what we saw. <sighs> it is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. What? what? You're gonna go and try and see a ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please. I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. Hey. What are you going to do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. Mm. How about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Maru, are you gonna wait here? Oh, I guess um... that's a yes. So it, it um... was right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, um, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come on. Please. Shut up! What if he actually shows up? Hina. Where was it you saw Chihiro's ghost? Well, well, I heard a sound, and when I opened the locker. I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. Bye. Um, is this the locker? There was something in here. Huh, inside the locker is a laptop? What's something like that doing hey. here? I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right, I saw it in the library before. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. But how did the laptop get to the library? From the library? To here. It would seem... And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Huh? But I thought it was broken. Hmm. I bet that Chihiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes. Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost. <laughs> I am surprised you were able to dress yourself in the morning. Ah. Oh man, if I had the clue of clueless girl's attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. <laughs> well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on. It's okay. I mean, anyone can make a mistake hmm. like that. As a matter of fact, one time I thought it spotted a gray alien, but it turned out just to be a tadpole. What are you saying? Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? But listen, this isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing here? In other words, maybe someone hid it here. But... If that's the case, we found it pretty easily. Wrong. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. There's a difference. There's no surveillance camera. Yes, it's me. Precise- oh, precisely. There's no camera in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Mm. Mm. So you're mm. saying someone put the laptop mm. here so the mastermind wouldn't know about it's it. It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Shihiro, shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. Okay, guys. Okay, next episode we're gonna investigate this laptop. Thanks for watching.